Hi, it's Jordan Teen One, and today I'll be showing you how to make my new Insight bracelet. So you can see two examples here, and the one I'm going to be showing today is the red, white, and blue one. And then let me just show you what it looks like on the other side because it is completely different. So here's this one, and then this one that we're going to be making looks like this. So it's pretty cool. This is actually sticking up more than the sides. I don't know if you can tell, but it is sort of three-dimensional here the way that this is higher than the rest. So you can make this on either the rainbow loom or the monster tail. And today I'll be showing it on the monster tail. But if you are using your full-size loom, you want to have the pins set up so they're in line with one another and then you would just use six pins in the shape of a rectangle. So as far as your band counts go, you're going to need about 140. It really depends on the size of your wrist. And I have the red, white, and blue that I'm doing today. So I've decided that I'm going to place the loom horizontally. I think it'll just be a little bit easier to follow if I have it this way. So you're going to start with your first color. So mine's going to be red and I'm going from this center pin diagonally up and to the left. And then I'm gonna take another red and this is going from the middle diagonally up and to the right. And then I have one more for the middle and this is going to be white for me. It's going straight up. Now I need to take another white band and double it. I'm gonna make a cap band here so I'm putting it on my hook, twisting, and putting it back on. So you'll have two loops, and that's just going to go right in the center here, the bottom. And now I want these other bands to come up through the cap band. So I'm just going to reach my hook down through and push back on the top two. Grab the first one in line here, it's the white, and that's going straight to the top. I'm going back down through, and I'll grab the next one which is the top red. It's coming up through and moving over to the right. And then I'll go back down through for the last one. That's going to come up and over to the left. And now just the cap bands left, so I'm just going to slide this off. It's going to just hang in the middle there. And then the top white band is going to move back to the bottom. So that's the base here. And we do have to add one more layer before we start crossing because otherwise they won't be locked in place and they'll just move around. So I'm going to put the same colors and I'm always going to follow the front row. And right now the front and back row are the same, but they won't always be. So I'm going to do white in the middle. And every time from now on in the center, we're going to do two bands at once. So that was my first, and then this is going to be my second. And then on the outside, it's just going to be one single red for each. And now I want to remove the bottom layer. So for right now, it's just one single band from all six of the pins. and I'm going to push that down. And now I'm ready to start moving the bands around. So the first thing I'm going to do is in the center here you should have the two. Taking the top one and I'll move that over to the right and then the next one I'm going to move over to the left. Now if you're using the rainbow loom it is going to be a longer stretch for you. Let me just show you what that looks like. So here's what it should look like on the rainbow loom. You can see we're using these six pins in the rectangle, but we're using these outer pins as a holding spot. And so now this freed up our center pin, so we want the red ones to move in. And I am going to alternate the one that goes first each time, just because I think if you're always putting the same one in first, it tends to make this bracelet want to curve. So I don't want that to happen. So since I move the white one over to the right first, I'll 
move the red one into the center from the right first. And then the one on the left moves in. And now the white ones can move where the red ones were. So the white just moves in. And then on the left side, it moves in as well. So that's what it should look like. And now I'm going to put another layer on top here. And since I am using the three colors, I'm going to be putting blue on top of the red. I'm going to be alternating with blue and red every layer. But the white, I'm going to just keep the same. So as I've said, I'm following this front row here. You can see how they're different colors from front to back. So I'm always following the front. And so I'm putting one white on each of the ends. And then in the center, I always need to have two bands. And since I am using the three colors, I'm going to switch to the blue. So if you only have two colors, you would just keep them the same as the front here. For example, if you were following a pattern like this. And now I need to remove the bottom layer. So from the ends, it's going to be one. But from the center, since we put two on, we always have to take two off and then one for the end and then the same thing on the back here just make sure you're doing two for the center and one for the ends and then once you've added a layer it's time to um, move the bands around so last time I went to the right first so this time I'll go to the left first so I'm taking the top blue and that's moving over to the left and then the other blue I'm going to move to the right and now I have the left side I have the white coming in and then from the right I'm moving that in and now the end bands can just move back to where the white ones were and so now I'm putting another layer on so again I'm changing the blue to red so just single bands and then in the middle I'm keeping it white and I need to do two at once and then the bottom comes off so it's one and two in the middle just doing the same thing on the back and pushing down and so now we want the middle to move out to the sides again so I'm switching over to the right side this time just as my first one and then the left and the right red will move to the middle the other one on top and then the ones on the end move in. So it's really not too complex of a pattern, I don't think. Doing the next layer. So I have white on white, just singles. And then in the middle, switching back to the blue. And I have the two. and then get just the bottom layer here so two for the center and push down so that's all there is to it so I'm just going to fast forward here and when the bracelet gets long enough I will show you how to remove it from the loom I now have my bracelet to the length that I'd like and I'm ready to remove it from the loom. So what I'm going to do is take all of the bands that are on the front and move them to the back. So in the middle you're going to have the two. And 
And since I do have the four in the center, I'm going to take the bottom two and pull that over the top. So you should just have two left there in the middle. So actually there's two on all. And I'm going to take these two white and I'm going to move them over to the left. And I want the bottom two red to come over the top. And then I'm going to take these same two white and I'm going to move them all the way over to the right. Just make sure you're getting them both on. And I'm going to move these two red over the top. So I'm left with just the two white. I'm going to pull this off of the loom. And then I'm going to take my clip. I have a C clip here. And I'm just going to attach it through these two. And then on the other end here, you should have a nice circle here at the bottom. This was our cap band, the white. So then you would just attach the white through the clip. Again, just make sure you get both of them. And then your bracelet is complete. I hope that everyone loves their new Insight bracelets. You can always leave me comments on YouTube and Facebook, post pictures of your creations to my Facebook page, and please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on my latest tutorials. You can also find me on Pinterest and Instagram, so please feel free to subscribe to those as well. Thanks for watching!